A young boy used to assist in newspaper distribution business. One day while delivering newspaper, a local inspector demanded a bribe to allow him to continue distributing the newspaper without any hassle. Young boy witnessing this act of corruption was deeply disturbed. He firmly stood his ground and refused to be part of such dishonesty. Despite the potential consequences, young boy's principles guided him to act in accordance with his strong moral compass. The boy with unwavering determination and conviction approached his father and informed him about the incidents. His father advised him to stand by his principle and not to give in for bribery. He emphasized the importance of truthfulness and integrity in all aspect of life. Encouraged by his father's word, the boy together with his cousin decided to meet the inspector again. This time they offered to write an official complaint about the inspector's demand for a bribe, exposing his corrupt practices to higher authorities. Surprised by their bravery and determination, the inspector was taken aback, realizing that these young boys were unwilling to compromise their values. He backed down and abandoned his attempt to extort money. This young boy was none other than Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Dr. Kalam was born on October 15, 1931 in Rameshwaram, a small town in Tamil Nadu, India. His father, Janul Abuddin, was a devout Muslim who owned a boat and led a simple life. His mother, Ashiyama, was a loving, caring woman who instilled in him the values of kindness, honesty and empathy. Growing up, Kalam was fascinated by the flight of birds and spent hours observing them. This curiosity sparked his dream of becoming a pilot. Dr. Kalam was very hard working from childhood. He used to sell newspaper and tamarind seeds to provisional stores for income. Though as a young student Kalam found mathematics to be a challenging subject. Despite his best efforts, he struggled to comprehend the concepts and solve mathematical problems. This lack of understanding left him frustrated and demotivated. One day, Kalam's mathematics teacher Mrs. Siva Subramanya Iyer noticed his difficulties and recognized his potential. She approached him with genuine concern and offered her help in understanding the subject better. With her guidance, Dr. Kalam's understanding of mathematics began to improve. He gained confidence and newfound interest in the subject. Despite financial constraint, Dr. Kalam excelled in academics. He was an inquisitive student who eagerly absorbed knowledge from his teachers and books. His determination to pursue education led him to study physics and aerospace engineering at Madras Institute of Technology. During his college years, Kalam faced challenges both academically and financially. However, his undying spirit and the support of his family kept him motivated. He often visited Ramnathpuram Palace Library to read books on various subjects, expanding his horizons. Dr. Kalam's college life at Madras Institute of Technology He had a significant encounter that left a lasting impression on him. The story involves a classmate named Ramnathan who played a crucial role in shaping Kalam's perspective and approach to learning. Ramnathan was an exceptionally talented and dedicated student who possessed a profound understanding of the subject they studied. Kalam greatly admired Ramnathan's abilities and was inspired by his relentless pursuit of knowledge despite facing financial constraint. Ramnathan managed to excel academically and consistently topped the class. Kalam often found himself struggling to keep up with the rigorous coursework, feeling overwhelmed and disheartened by his own limitations. Witnessing Ramnathan's success, however, ignited a desire within him to improve himself and rise to similar heights. One day, Kalam approached Ramnathan and expressed his admiration for his academic achievements. He humbly asked Ramnathan to share his secret for academic excellence. In response, Ramnathan revealed a simple but powerful piece of advice. Do you know why I am able to do well while you work hard? I work smart. I believe in understanding the fundamentals of every subject. This conversation deeply impacted Kalam. It made him realize the importance of having a strong foundation and a thorough understanding of the core principles in any field of study. Inspired by Ramnathan's advice, Kalam changed his approach to learning. He dedicated himself to mastering the fundamentals of each subject, dwelling deeper into the underlying principles rather than focusing solely on memorization. This shift in perspective proved to be transformative for Kalam. He started seeing significant improvement in his academic performance and gained a newfound confidence in his abilities. Dr. Kalam learned the value of perseverance, dedication and the power of understanding the core concept in any field of study. Due to this when professor Sponder who came to teach in his college 
was so impressed with Dr. Kalam that he offered him to go with him to Germany for further research and experimentation. And this opportunity became one of the significant turning point in Kalam's life as he became Kalam's mentor and guided him in his pursuit of excellence. Under Professor Sponder's guidance, Kalam worked on various projects honoring his skills in aerospace engineering. He also imbibed the values of integrity, discipline, and attention to detail. Professor Sponder's mentorship played a crucial role in shaping Kalam's career. After completing his studies, Kalam joined the Defence Research and Development Organisation. There he became an integral part of India's missile development program. He led various projects including the development of country's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle SLV-3 and the successful launch of Rohini satellite. In the 1980s, India faced challenges in acquiring missile technology due to international embargoes. Driven by the vision of achieving self-reliance and defence, Kalam took on the responsibility of spearheading the IGMDP. The program aimed to develop a series of missiles that would enhance India's strategic capabilities. Another notable success came with the development of Agni series of ballistic missiles, including Agni 1, 2 and 3. These long-range missiles strengthened India's strategic deterrent. Dr. Kalam's exceptional leadership skill, technical expertise and unwavering dedication played a pivotal role. His ability to inspire and motivate the team, coupled with his strong belief in potential of indigenous technologies, propelled India's missiles development program forward. In 2002, Dr. Kalam was elected as the 11th President of India. Throughout his presidency, he focused on connecting with the youth and inspiring them to dream big. He embarked on a mission to ignite the scientific and technological curiosity of young minds, encouraging them to contribute to India. One day, while President Kalam was travelling in Delhi, he noticed a small boy selling newspaper on the street. Intrigued by the boy's determination and resilience, he decided to stop to have a conversation with him. President Kalam engaged in a friendly discussion about the boy's aspiration, dreams, and the challenges he faced in his daily life. Moved by the boy's story, President Kalam realized that he could make a real difference in the life of such individuals. He made a spontaneous decision and offered to help the young newspaper seller by providing him financial assistance for his education. The boy was initially taken aback by President's offer but soon expressed his gratitude and eagerly accepted the support. This incident, widely known as the President on the Streets episode, reflected President Kalam's humility, empathy and dedication to uplifting the unprivileged. It showcased his commitment to the welfare of the common people and his willingness to go beyond the ceremonial duties of this position. This was the book summary of Wings of Fire. If you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section which book summary should be the next video on. I will keep on bringing the book summaries for you.